Let's grab our blue loop band and bring it around our outer thighs. And we'll take our foam roller coming onto our shins. I'll turn profile to you so you can see what's happening with my body. Keep a neutral pelvis with that somewhere between arching and rounding your low back. Knees are hip distance apart, shins and tops of the feet are pressing into the floor. Inhale, prepare, filling your pelvis, pull down towards the floor. Exhale, hinging back, diagonal from the knees, energy line from the knees out through the crown of the head, and our roller goes overhead. We pause, we exhale, turn our head right, left, right, left. Inhale, pause, head is center. Exhale, turn the head again, right and left, right and left. Inhale, fill your pelvis ground down again and turn the head right, left, right, left. Inhale, up. And that foam roller comes back in line with the chest. Again, exhale, hinging back. Roller goes overhead, turning the head right, left, right, left. Inhale, pause, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, inner thighs pull back as you turn the head. Two, three, four. Again, inhale. Exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four. Inhale, back up to center. Pulling the roller back in line with the chest. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, hinging back, inner thighs pull you back, turning the head right and left, right and left. Plug the shoulders down, inhale, pause. Exhale, turn the head, two, three, four, inhale, center. Exhale, turn the head, two, three, four, inhale, back up right. These are challenging, stretching the thighs, working the pelvic floor, neutralize your pelvis, hinge back, exhale. Inhale, ground, exhale, turn the head, two, three, four. Four, inhale, center, exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four, inhale, center, exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four, inhale, center, and all the way up. Final set, inner thighs pull you back, brace those abdominals, lift up on your lower pelvic floor, turn the head. Two, three, four, inhale, center, exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four, inhale, center, one more time. Exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four. Inhale, back upright. From here, we're going to grab our foam roller, keeping the blue loop band around our outer thighs. We'll come to lie with our tailbone at the bottom and head at the top. Take a moment to allow the spine to adjust to being on the roller. Neutralize your pelvis. Find some position between arching and rounding your low back. You can take one hand under the low back to feel the space between the low back and the roller, it should be about a hand's distance, not two hands. And then we'll bring our arms to cactus, two right angles. From here, go ahead and press your non-dominant hand down into the floor. Since I'm left-handed, I'll show you the hand will be down on the floor like this. And now I'm going to switch because I want my dominant arm up. And two options, you can take the opposite leg up and just keep one foot down for extra leverage, or you can take both legs up. The both legs up is quite a challenge. You really have to recruit those internal abs if you're not feeling they're strong enough for this yet. Keep one foot down and just work opposite arm and leg. So as you pull the elbow to the side of the body, the leg lowers, you exhale, and you inhale, bringing the leg up and the arm back to cactus. Keep your head centered, chin lifted, sternum and breastbone are reaching towards the roller, shoulder blades are wrapping around it, keep going. Moving that leg down as your chicken wing arm comes down, the elbow taps the side of your rib cage and then you take it back to cactus and make sure the wrist isn't flexing. You're not lifting the forearm up, but pulling from the tricep, the flesh, on the back of the arm is pulling down towards the side of the body. So keep that going, whatever variation you're doing, commit to breathing, exhaling to lower, inhaling to lift, stay with the breath. From here, slowly bring those limbs down and switch sides, setting up for that single arm cactus, lifting the opposite leg of the arm that's up or both legs up. Inhale, prepare. Exhale to move the limbs down, two, three, four, inhale them up, two, three, four. Keep with this slow tempo, exhale them up. 
Inhale, feel the pelvis pulling down as you lift up. Exhale, feel the inner thighs resisting as you lower down. So pelvis lengthens towards the bottom of your mat, bottom of the roller on the inhales. Lower pelvic floor muscles, the muscles that stop your stream of pee, those Kegels lift in and up as in opposition as you're lowering the limbs down. Keep going. One more set. And we'll make our way off of the roller. If you had flat back or sway back prior to pregnancy, you can bring the ball between your inner thighs. If you had lordosis or kyphotic lordotic, then you can take, you can keep this blue loop band around your outer thighs. So kyphotic lordotic and lordosis, blue loop band, sway back and flat back, anti-burst ball between the inner thighs. If you don't know, I would keep the band on because kyphotic lordotic and lordosis is the most prominent posture, and this is going to be good for you. So here, we're going to let our shins hover. Toes are pointed, hands are down. You're a little below your knees, kind of on your shin. We're going to neutralize the pelvis, and we're going to do some driving from our abs and th and lower body of the legs in. Little pulses. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, pulse in. Two, three, four. Just in and out, like a few inches in, a few inches out. This mimics a reverse crunch. It's safer than lifting up, keeping your, your rectus abdominis safe. If you had a C-section, we don't want any splitting, but this is a great way to firm up the lower abs in a safe fashion. Make sure you're not putting too much pressure on your low back, so don't round your back, but keep it neutral. Pull the belly in towards the spine and Kegel as you do your little pulses. Two, three, four. Pause and inhale, brace the abs. Kegel, exhale, pulse. Two, three, four. And see if you can sustain the Kegel for the duration of all the pulses for your whole exhale. Pause and inhale through your pelvis neutralizing. Pull the belly in towards the spine and exhale, Kegel and pulse. Two, three, four. Keep that going. Inhale, prepare. Brace the abs. Kegel, exhale, pulse. Two, three, four. Good. Inhale. Brace and exhale, pulse. Two, three, four. Four. Keep that tempo going, pausing on your inhale, moving on your exhale. Micro bend those elbows. Push evenly through your thumbs and baby fingers, pushing through the hands, pushing down and out. Shoulders plugged down, chin lifted. Imagine hands on your shoulder blades. Bring the back ribs up towards those hands, engaging your upper back muscles. Almost there. Hang in there. Keep going. Using the breath, firming the low belly. Five, four, three, two, one. One. From here, grab your green TheraBand. If you had the ball between your knees, keep it between your knees. If you have the blue loop band on, keep that on. Coming to a seated position, taking the center of the green loop band around the arches of your feet, wrapping around the knuckles with the thumbs on the outside of both hands. Sitting up tall, make sure you tip your tailbone back so you're not rounding your low back. Pull the belly in. Inhale, prepare. Feel your pelvis grounding down towards the floor. Exhale, hinge halfway back. Soften the sternum and breastbone in. Puff your upper back into the imaginary hands on your shoulder blades. Give me two. Give me three rows. One, two, three. Inhale, pause. Exhale, turn your head right and left. Right and left. Inhale, back to center and bring yourself all the way up. And we'll repeat. Exhale, hinging back. Three rows. Inhale, pause. Pelvis pulls down. And exhale. Turning the head. Two, three, four. Inhale, center. And bring it back up. Good. Keep that going. Exhale, hinging back. Three rows. One, two, three. Three, inhale, pause, exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four, inhale, center, and up, exhale, hinging back. Row for three, two, one, inhale, pause, exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four, inhale, center, bring yourself all the way up, plugging the shoulders down. Hinge it back, row it in, two, three, inhale, Exhale, turn the head. Two, three, 
Inhale, back upright. Great job. Let's grab our five pound weight. We're gonna come to sit against the wall. If sitting against the wall bothers your back, you can do this standing. You can also place the roller under the knees like so. If that feels better, just don't round your low back. Imprint, so holding the five pound weight in your dominant hand first, bring the arms to cactus. Imprinting the upper back, mid back, back of the head, tailbone, which is why don't put the roller under the knees if you round your low back. If it allows you to sit upright more to do so, then by all means, keep it under the knees. So we're all sitting upright. We're gonna begin some wall slides, but not quite yet. I want the upper back imprinting more, front rib sternum, reaching for the back body, back body pressing heavy into the wall. Soften the gaze, lift the chin, keep your focus up a little higher than eye level. Watch out for the front ribs spraying forward. Guide the front ribs towards the back ribs. Press the back ribs into the wall. From here, slow cactus presses with our, lotus, our loaded arm. So we're going to lift that arm up. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower it down. Two, three, four. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Keep that going and inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, find your imprint, don't lose it. And inhale, two, three, four, lower, exhale, two, three, four. Folding over the legs for a release. If this hurts your back, you can do cat and cow. So either a forward fold, if this hurts your back, find cat and cow. If this hurts your knees, bring your hands onto a chair and do cat and cow. So I will demonstrate both variations so that you can see them. Be where you are. We'll be here for another 30 seconds before we begin our second side. So make sure you're allowing yourself this recovery time. Should feel nice doing what's best for your body dependent on whether you have knee or back issues. Just another 10 seconds breathing where you are. Five, four, three, two, one. Making your way back over to the wall. Picking up your five pound weight with your non-dominant hand. And let's begin those wall slides. Imprint your body first, upper back, mid back, head, tailbone, belly firm, front ribs reaching for the back ribs, back ribs imprinting. And here we go. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Keep that going. Lifting, two, three, four. Lower two, three, four, continue. And make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Use your inhales to ground your pelvis down. Use your exhales to pull your inner thighs back towards the wall to sit right up tall on those sit bones. Soften that sternum and breastbone inward. Plug the shoulders down the back, widen the collarbone without pushing the rib cage out. Finish up your last one. And if you don't have the blue loop band on, put the blue loop band on your outer thighs. Pick up your green TheraBand. You'll put your knees under it. Moving into scaption, we'll start with your dominant arm. Taking it up with some external rotator, um, with some external rotation from the top of the hip socket. So we inhale, lift, two, three, four, exhale, circle, two, three, four. Lowering it down, inhale, lift, two, three, four, exhale, circle, two, three, and lower. Plug the shoulder down as you lift up. Circle, two, three, and lower. Inhale, lift, two, three, four, exhale, circle, two, and lower. One more time, inhale, lift, two, three, four, exhale, circle, two, Lowering down. Switching sides. Setting up on the second side. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Exhale, circle. Two, three, and lower. 
So as you're working now, the other arm can do the same motion or it can, the hand can come to the hip, <clears throat> whatever feels natural. Plug your shoulders down. Keep your gaze soft and a little higher than eye level. Try to not arch your low back, firm the abdomen in. Each exhale is a chance to actually Kegel, lifting up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee to recondition them. Each inhale is a chance to pull the pelvis down, lengthening the obliques, the side abdomen, conditioning those at the same time. From here, we'll set the green TheraBand to the side, bringing our abdomen onto the floor and our hands right by our chest. Legs hip distance apart if you have back issues. They can be together if you don't. Pressing slowly up to upward dog. Micro bend in the elbows. Inhale at the top. Exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four. Inhale, center. And exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four. Inhale, center. One more. Exhale, turn it. Two, three, four. And lower down. Wait. Before you lift up, inhale, exhale, shake the hips side to side. Inhale, back to center, brace your abs. Lift up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee, pressing up, hold it up. Exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four, inhale. Exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four, inhale. Exhale, turn the head. Two, three, four, lowering down. Inhale, pause. Exhale, wag your tail. Inhale, back to center. Bracing the abs. Final set. Take it up. Hold it up. Inhale, one. Breathe. Exhale, turn the head. Inhale, two. Exhale, turn the head. Inhale, three. Exhale, turn the head. And lower yourself back to the mat. Grabbing your five-pound weight. Switching the band around your outer thighs to your green loop band. That's the green loop band in the Uniquely Fit Kit. Grab your anti-burst ball to put under your head. Coming into a fetal position, hold the weight in your dominant arm to get started. Plugging the shoulders down. Gluing the elbow to the side of the body, creating a right angle. Keeping your wrist flat. Neutralizing your pelvis, so watch out for rounding. It's easy to do here when the legs come in towards the chest. Tip the tailbone back. Plug the shoulders down. The arm that is closest to the floor can extend out in front of you. Try to plug the shoulders down and lengthen your torso so much that there's a mouse hole between your rib cage and side body. Brace those abs and we'll begin on a four count. Take it up, two, three, four, lower down, two, three, four. External rotation from the top of the hip. Don't take your hips back, keep your hips stacked. Just rotate from the top of the hip socket, that thigh up, as the forearm lifts without the wrist flexing. Keep that going. Inhale to lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, steady tempo. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. And if at any point you feel the front of the shoulder painting, you can always go back down to that three pound weight. Give me two more. Actually, let's just finish up the one you're on and slowly make your way to our non-dominant side for a couple of extra repetitions. Setting up in your fetal position, plugging the shoulder down, arm that's closest to the floor extends out. You find that mouse hole between the rib cage and the floor, lengthening your torso, pelvis reaching towards the bottom of the mat, neutralizing, stack the legs, point the toes, and we'll begin. Right angle, elbow glued to the side of the body, forearm lifting up. Outer thigh opening, external rotation from the top of the hip. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Slow tempo. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Strengthening the outer glutes and your external rotator cuff. Very important when you're breastfeeding to work the back body so that we don't get kyphosis and get used to that rounded shoulder position. Give me one more repetition. Coming up to sit, let's take off the green loop band and set the five pound weight to the side. Coming to a comfortable seat.
Great job. Let's grab our foam roller and our red TheraBand. That's the red TheraBand and foam roller lying on our back for wide leg bridging with chicken wing arms. Now we did these arms when we were on the roller doing our ab series prior. This time we'll wrap around the knuckles with the thumbs on the outside. The hands will be overhead. We'll lift our pelvis up for a bridge. And then as we lower the pelvis down, we'll pull our arm into that chicken wing position. So we inhale, lift the pelvis up. Start with your dominant arm pulling down. Exhale, elbow pulls to the side of the body. And inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. One more time on this side. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. Let's repeat with the other arm working. So one arm is still, one arm is sliding down on the floor towards the side of the rib cage, imprinting like it did against the wall when we were doing those cactuses in our back work. Here we go. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. So as we lift, the arm slides back up to cactus. As we lower, it pulls down to tap the side of the rib cage. Watch out for the roller moving a lot. That means you're not using those glutes, your butt muscles, and your hamstrings. And as I said in level two, the farther away this roller is from the body, the more you work your hamstrings. The closer it is in, the more you work your glutes, your butt muscles. So glute bridges are to target the glutes. We only do variations with, with rollers and, and props far away when we're trying to target the hamstrings. So try to get it in. If it bothers the knees, you may have gone too close to the butt muscles. So you'll readjust accordingly. Keep going. Give me one more set. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale down, two, three, four. From here, let's set that red TheraBand to the side. If you had lordosis or kyphotic lordotic prior to pregnancy, put the blue loop band, that's the blue loop band around your outer thighs. If you had sway back or flat back, Put the anti-burst ball. If you don't know, that's fine. Put the blue loop band on. And let's grab the green TheraBand. And we're going to wrap it around our knuckles and take it under our bum, pulling out on it every time we do a regular bridge. And a regular bridge is legs hip distance apart, toes wrapping around the roller. Roller as close to the butt as you can get it without aggravating the knees. We'll inhale the pelvis up, pulling out on that green band, holding it up for three breaths. Exhale the air out at the top. Inhale two, exhale two, inhale three, still pulling out on that band, exhale three, and lowering down. Once the tailbone taps, inhale the pelvis back up, hold it up, exhale the air out. Inhale, belly firm, Kegel, and exhale. Inhale, contract the lower pelvic floor, Kegel, sustain it, fog marrow. Lowering yourself down slowly. Again, inhale. Pick that pelvis up. Hold it up. Exhale. Inhale. Stay up and exhale. Try to not wobble that roller. Push down and out. Inhale. And exhale, peeling down upper back, mid back to tailbone. And final set. Inhale, take it up. Hold it up. Exhale the air out. Inhale, and exhale, it's like a sound of the ocean, inhale, belly firm, Kegel, and exhale, peeling down slowly. From here, we'll place the roller under our knees. You can set the ball to the side if you had it between them. You'll probably be fine with the band still on. Now from here, if you had lordosis or kyphotic lordotic, eversion from the ankle joint circles on your exhale. So you pause on your inhale, you circle the feet away from the body on your exhale. Two, three, four, pause, inhale, circle the feet away. Two, three, 
Four, keep going, lordosis and kyphotic lordotic with this. Sway back, circle the feet in on your exhales. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, circle the feet in towards the body. Two, three, four. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, circle the feet in. Two, three, four. Flat back. I'd like you to dorsiflex your feet on your exhales. So you're just going to relax the feet on your inhales. Two, three, four. Exhale, flex the toes towards the face like a dorsal fin. Inhale, prepare. Two, relaxing the feet. Exhale, flex those toes. Two, three, four. Keep going. You may feel a burn in your shins. So remember, eversion away from the body for lordosis and kyphotic lordotic. Inversion for sway back towards the body. Flat back posture, dorsiflexion of the feet to combat the plantar flexion in your ankles. We're all doing what's best for our posture. And again, if you don't know what you were prior to pregnancy, do whatever feels the most challenging. As you're doing it, notice what feels unnatural. That's probably where you need the work. So keep breathing, working those feet for another 30 seconds. If we can't work them enough, they get overworked, they have had a lot more weight to carry than they normally do. So this is a time to kind of give them a little special attention before we stand up and start moving through space doing our cardio burst. Keep breathing and counting you down. Five, four, three, two, one. For our next exercise, you can have your anti-burst ball between the inner thighs but it may feel better to put the blue loop band on. So let's, let's all try the blue loop band on for this exercise around our outer thighs. We're going to grab our green TheraBand. It's going to go over the thighs and we're going to wrap from the ends of the band around our knuckles with the thumbs on the outside, pushing our hands into the floor. This will create some counter resistance for our hamstring curls, parallel hamstring curls. So they're going to look like this. Your legs are extended out, hip distance. I'm not locking my knees out. I'm keeping a soft bend in the knees. I'll inhale, prepare. On my exhale, I'm going to do three curls. I'm going to go up one, in and out, two, and three, and then lower down slowly. Again, inhale, lift, and I'll take it in and out. One, two, three, and I'll lower slowly down. We have a minute on the clock to really burn these hamstrings, get them firing. If at any time you've had enough, you can take a stretch, you can grab, you can use that green TheraBand taking your blue loop band off to stretch your hamstrings. I'll show you what that looks like, but please keep going with the hamstring curls if you can. So you lift up, in and out, two, three, and lower down. Now, when you've had enough of those hamstring curls, you're going to take that green TheraBand, taking the loop band off, putting it around the arch of the foot, and just stretching that leg up, trying to maintain a neutral pelvis. Keep breathing. Stay with those hamstring curls if you can tolerate it. Just for another 20 seconds and then we'll all move into this hamstring release. Hang in there. Another 15 seconds. You're almost there. If you're in the stretch, enjoy the stretch. If you're still working, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Take the loop band off. Grab that green TheraBand. If your hamstrings are super tight, you can place the anti-burst ball under your head to elevate it so you're not straining your neck. Take your dominant leg or tighter leg up first. Go ahead and stretch out the back of the hamstring. Six breaths here. Inhale one. Breathe. Exhale one. Keep your pelvis neutral. Abs braced. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three. Inhale four. Exhale four, inhale five, exhale five, inhale six, exhale six. Switching legs, setting up on the second side, opening up those hamstrings after that intense work we just did. Hold it here, inhale one, breathe, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two. Inhale three, exhale three, inhale four, exhale four, inhale five, exhale five, and final breath. Inhale six, and exhale six. 
slowly coming up to a comfortable seated position. Great job. 